The particularity requirement for a search warrant has two elements. First, the warrant must specify the place to be searched. Next, the warrant must specify the items to be seized. The reason for this particularity requirement stems from the framers' concerns with so-called general warrants issued by the English Crown. These warrants basically permitted limitless searches for evidence of treason. In Maryland v. Garrison, 1987, police officers obtained a warrant to search the person of Lawrence McWebb and the premises known as 2036 Park Avenue, third floor apartment. They believed that McWebb's apartment occupied the entire third floor when, in fact, there were two apartments on that floor, one of which belonged to another person named Garrison. Nevertheless, the court held that the warrant was valid because it was based on information by a trusted informant, and the police had inquired with the local utility company and were given the impression that there was only one apartment on the third floor. In Anderson v. Maryland, 1976, the court upheld a warrant that authorized the seizure of several items, together with other fruits, instrumentalities, and evidence of a crime at this time known. The court noted that the crime in question was particularly complex and could be proved only by piecing together many bits of evidence.